Assalamu alaikum, anin, seko, and hello everybody. My name is Junaid Shazad Khan, and along with my wonderful partner Nyla Mitchell, we undertook the project of learning about strawberries. We planted about 40 to 50 strawberry plants along the Humber River in Toronto, and along the way decided to take a deep dive into the world of strawberries and how they connect to the land and cultures that have existed here for millennia. The word for strawberry in Ojibwe is they min. They meaning heart and min meaning seed. So the literal translation of the berry in Ojibwe is heart seed. It teaches us to always speak from the heart and be connected with ourselves in the center. We were also taught that the first strawberry sprouted forth after two brothers continued to fight in the woods or wrestle in the woods, even though their mother had told them not to as they were growing up now and were adults. In this wrestling, one brother ended up harming and killing the other. And years of mourning later, a strawberry plant grew forth from the departed brother's grave to help with the mourning of the others. We're also taught that strawberry is the king of the berries. It is the first plant to produce flowers for pollinators such as bees and butterflies. And it is the first plant that creates berries come spring. It is also connected to the western direction. The western direction is that of adulthood, the berry stage of life. And in that life, we have to reflect on our youth and our birth in order to move forward to our next phase of life, which is the north phase, the elder phase. Fire also connects with strawberries as they share the word for heart within them. There are a lot of stories that interconnect us and strawberries and we simply do not have enough time to talk about them all. Cedar is the medicine that is offered in the western direction in order to help us on our path through adulthood. The heart here is colored black because that is the color of the western direction in the Ojibwe medicine wheel. And the script in Arabic here connects two words, ishq in Arabic and ishq in Ojibwe. Ishkode is the word for fire. And ishq is the word for true love in Arabic. This project has taught us that there are connections between our past and our present and our future anywhere we go.